JJ, it's, it's MBAA 2019. We're off to a roaring start, a lot of big announcements. But as usual, you folks have some really interesting stuff in the works. Tell us what you're doing for the King Air. Right, so on the King Air 200, 250 series, we've been working with Raysbeck Engineering, as we have many times before, on a new five-way composite propeller, which is the first certified structural composite on the King Air 200 series. It's utilizing our Raptor shank and our Raptor hub series, which takes quite a bit of weight out of the prop, even going from four-way to five-way. So we're really excited about that, and the performance is pretty significant as well. When did this project start? We have started this project with Raysbeck about a year and a half ago. This is a custom blade design, so it was brand new tooling for us on the composite side and appears to be a real home run. As I mentioned, the performance, about 15% shorter takeoff roll, 15% better low-end climb, and about five to eight knots of performance at cruise. So pretty significant versus the, the OEM standard prop. And when you're talking about aircraft like the King Air, let's face it, the King Air is one of the most capable and has to be one of the most capable aircraft in the field because let's face it, they're being treated like turboprop SUVs. Right, it's a real workhorse and you know that's why it's been such a wildly successful product line for such a long time. It's versatile and it really hits the sweet spot for a lot of what operators are looking for and we've been working with Raysbeck on modifying King Air props for quite some time starting with the original power props back in the 80s. And then we went to the swept props, which were also metal in the early 2000s. And then now getting into the, the swept carbon fiber structural composite five ways for the, for the 200 and the 350, which, which hit the market about two years ago. You've been tweaking efficiencies uh, for quite a while now. The question is, how far can you go? I mean, are there things out there? Is it going to be material? Is it going to be aerodynamics, combination thereof? But are there equivalent efficiencies to be gained in the future? So we, we think so. I mean, we're, we're an innovation company. We're always looking for continuous improvement. You know, what I would say is physics don't change. So that is good in a sense because we're designing to parameters that we know. but. As you mentioned, structural properties, material properties are changing and evolving and getting better. And certainly we want to continue to edge out our portfolio so that we're taking advantage of new technology and creating new technology in some cases to provide better performance and better efficiency. What's on the horizon at this point for Hartzell? Well, as has been the theme here already at NBAA, it's really about looking to the future and the amount of investment going on right now in, and I'll say power plant, whether it's turboprops, pistons, or electric hybrid, is at record levels as far as we're concerned. So we're, we're really partnering with several of the, the eVTOL companies and startups. We're working with uh, our established turboprop and piston customers. You know, we see composite trends continuing to accelerate in the future. We're rounding out that portfolio quite significantly here and, and in the next few years. So, you know, for us, it's been quite a journey over the past five years from a lot of our OE product and metal blades to transitioning quickly to composite for the benefits mostly, you know, around weight, which then you can add blade count and add performance. So we're still executing that playbook and we see that here in the next several years to continue to be a significant piece of transition for us. JJ, we really appreciate your time for Aero TV and especially on a very busy MBAA 2019 opening day. Thank you. Thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by the True Blue Power TA202 series high power USB charging port requires no bulky external power converters for 10 to 32 VDC installation. The in-seat cabin and cockpit power source delivers all the power you need in a small, economical, easy-to-install package. Available from your local avionics dealer.